Hey Zips fans, Chad Welker here with men's head soccer coach Jared Embick. And coach, just a very quick recap of the last two games against Bowling Green and Cleveland State. Yeah, I thought we played very well, you know, both sides of the ball. And uh, you can see we we're dialed in and, and nice rhythm. And uh, for us, I, I think finally what has maybe been frustrating earlier in the year has been the finishing. And we were starting to finish our chances. And, you know, when you do that, sometimes the games become a little bit easier and, and less stressful. But most importantly, we got there through, through focus, competitiveness, and and guys just being dialed in. Set pieces and corner kicks were also a big key to both of these games. Uh, I know you guys have been working hard on that. Uh, what are you seeing in practice that are ultimately coming into form in, during the game? I think we're realizing um, maybe how we can free ourselves up and where the service needs to be. And uh, I think sometimes guys want service there, but they're not getting themselves freed up. So we've worked a lot on, you know, movement, how to create space and, and get in the right spots. And then, you know, at some, some point they got to be aggressive and go for it. We have to uh, address the fact that you had seven seniors that you recognized last Friday against Bowling Green. Um, naming them all, not naming them all, uh, what is this senior class, uh, how they've been valued in, in regards to the men's soccer program here at Akron? Yeah, I mean, they've been a part of what we've done. There's some new, you know, guys, transfers, you know, Sammy, Will, Hazi that are looking for that success that the previous guys have had. But, you know, Yvonne, you know, Carlos, Drax, and uh, they've been a huge part. Diogo been a huge part of us getting to Final Fours and competing for championships. And, you know, hopefully we can give the other guys that have come late that same feeling here in the last, you know, two months of the season. But, uh, you know, they're just not only great players, they're, they're very good people and uh, been big in the locker room and to our mindset overall. Moving into this weekend, you head up to DeKalb to take on Northern Illinois. Uh, this is one of the bigger conference games of the season, and even early over the past couple uh, seasons. Northern Illinois seems to have the number of the zips right now. What needs to change for you to get a result up there? Uh, you know, it's a mindset. I, I mean, I take the spring out. You know, the second game we lost guys day of the game, and you just kind of chaotic with your lineup when that stuff happens and, and going there the first game you know we played well for a period and you know we kind of made a mistake and they punished us I think we can learn from that uh, but it, it's all about you know mentality you know fight determination I know we want to play great soccer but on that field it, it's going to be not as easy to do as we could maybe at home so now it's going to be about other things and we're going to have to show the determination we're going to have to show the unity and stick together and uh, they're having a great year and they're gonna we know they're gonna be up for it so it's gonna be an exciting game and one that that can only make us better for the postseason but uh, we know the job we have to do and we're, we're going to be ready to do it. Appreciate the time as always coach you can catch that game on Northern Illinois website by heading over there kickoff for that is at 3 p.m. Eastern time for the Zips Digital Network. It's Chad Welker have a great rest of your day and as always go Zips!